Hello and welcome, my name is Reef and today, well, I've been receiving some questions the past few days about installing, how to install the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shavers Shaders Pack for ATL or in DNS Tech Pack um, as I've shown in my video before. So basically on this video I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to install it so that your Minecraft, modded Minecraft can also look like this. Note that the most important thing that you need for this, for Minecraft to work, is you need a mod pack with the Forge Loader, a Forge mod installed. That does make installing the mods a fair bit easier. Um, let me just get rid of these books. So, let's get into it. Just gonna quickly save and quit, and then close Minecraft. Okay, fine. First off, um, I'm using the AT Launcher. I don't really have the icon for that up at the moment, but um, the DNS tech pad in AT Launcher is a lot like Ticket in many ways. It just has, and as well as Feed the Beast, it just has a fair bit more things. Anyway, if you have that installed or any other mod pack that has Forge as a part of it, you can go to the Sonic Ethics Unbelievable Shaders website. It has been updated. And on there, I will put the links in the description for you guys. Um, you can download the few things that you'll need. First off, um, the first important thing you will need obviously is the Forge installer. So you can get that um, from the specific link. On the Shaders Mod version 2.3.18 link there is, inst uh, uh, there is a link to get Forge from here. So you can download the latest Forge here from files.microforge.net and you need to have this installed. If you don't have this installed, this process will probably not work. So, But first off, if you have Forge installed, is download the GLSL Shaders mod for Minecraft 1.7.1. It also works with newer versions um, in either one of these two links. And when you have that downloaded, you can also download the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod, um, Shader Pack rather, the latest version Swiss version 10.1 are using the standard one because it's my piece is a bit slow for the ultra and ultra motion blur and all that but standard looks still looks good and performs quite well so when you have those installed the next step is to take the two files you'll see it's shaders, shaders mod core the version number and the Minecraft number and the source folder and then copy them to the well copy the shaders mod core for, um, file to your mods folder in your where your instance of DNS tech pack or your mod modded Minecraft is installed. So you'll see it is there it is in DNS tech pack mods in my case. And second thing you need to do is then copy the to standard zip file into your shader packs folder. If you don't have one you can create one that's not an issue. Um, the game doesn't really bother really have too much of an issue with that. Once that is done and you do have all the necessary parts, you have Forge installed and those things have been copied, you open up your Minecraft, see there's mine, um, then you go to uh, mods just to make sure that your shader core mods is installed. Let me just check quickly on mine. I um, no, mine's here somewhere. Not too sure where. But it's not too much of an issue if I can't find it here. The easiest way to see it actually is just to go to your options menu and then you'll see a shaders tab right here. If you click on it, it will show you none internal or the source shader pack, which I added. If you click on source to choose it, make sure that all lightning is off, tweak block damage is on and cloud shadows off. If those three are on any other setting, you might be getting some random bugs and errors which can be well mess up your experience basically once that's done basically you just start your game so there I go play selected world wait for it to load and there I am I have pretty ma um, pretty water effects ah, bit of a lag there some great shadows and well visuals and everything I'm currently using the Sfax BD pack texture pack with this um, apparently it's not the best for use of this but I don't really care as oh, I like the look of it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this sorts out any possible problems you've had when installing um, the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders pack for Minecraft. Man, that sun is amazing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this really helped you out. Anyway, 
Team Guys again next time. Bye-bye.